Hey everyone, so lately we've been having an issue with our fridge or freezer door not fully closing. So the door stays just slightly open. So what I thought I'd do is create a quick My Sensors device for monitoring. So you can see here that I have the temperatures uh, displayed so I can set alerts if it goes over a certain temperature. And I also have a sensor on the doors so if it's not closed, um, it'll alert me as well. Um, so I have just some bare copper wire. I'll show you how I made all this in a second, but I, basically it detects if the door is just even open by maybe a couple of millimeters. So I've set up my alert for five seconds on my fridge door. So I'll just give you a quick demo here of what that looks like. The refrigerator door has been open for longer than 45 seconds. Please close it. And then it shows my sensor is triggered. And then when I close it, obviously it goes away. This will also send an email alert. So if for some reason we missed the voice alert, it would let me know over email as well. Okay, so that's it for the demo. Now I'm gonna show you how this is made. So for the temperature sensors, I'm gonna be using the Dallas temperature sensors. They communicate on the one wire protocol. So in order to do that, they each have a unique address. So what we first want to do is find the address so we know which one to put in the freezer and which one to put in the refrigerator side. So I've just connected this up. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but there's a flat side and then a rounded side. So the flat side, um, from left to right, we've got ground, the one-wire connection, and then power. So I've just connected that up to my Arduino, and then I have a simple program that I use for checking the address. So the connections are um, ground, obviously, 5 volts from my Arduino, and there's a 4.7K uh, resistor between that and the one wire, which I have connected into pin 3. So I just connect that up, and then I'll run the program to find the address. So we can use that in our My Sensors program later. So here's the program you'll need to run to find your temperature sensor addresses. I'll make it available uh, in the link in the video description. So just upload this to your Arduino, then just launch the serial monitor and then it will print out your device address. So I have this set up to find multiple device addresses. Um, so you should just connect one in and then it will show it to you here. So you can just copy this and then save that for later because we're going to be using it in the My Sensors program. So after you find your first address, you'll just connect in your second temperature sensor just like you did the first and run the serial monitor again and you can get that second address. Okay, now that we have our Dallas temperature sensor addresses, we're almost ready to start assembling everything. But before we do, I just want to show you what I'm using for my uh, door sensors. So normally with my doors and windows throughout my house, I have contact sensors. But what I found is those have a range um, of closed up to about one inch. Um, and my freezer and fridge door usually stay just open, not open an inch. Whether there's something there preventing it from closing, it's usually almost closed, but not quite. So instead of having it register as closed up to one inch, I instead want to have it only closed if these are actually touching. So what I'm using here is some copper tape uh, and then just some Cat5 cables. So I'm going to flatten these out when I actually get, get it on the doors. Uh, but right now this is just an illustration. So I'll have this, um, these two wires taped onto my fridge. And this uh, tape, this copper tape, will be on the door, stuck to the door. So when the door fully closes and the magnetic seal engages, it'll connect these two together to complete this circuit. Even if it's almost closed but not quite, it won't complete the circuit. So this is how I can detect if my door is just almost closed or not. Alright, so the first thing I did was connected up my radio. So this just uses the standard My Sensors wiring. Um, you can check it out on the website or in the wiring diagram uh, in the link in the video description. A couple of things to note here. This Pro Mini I'm using is 3.3 volts. Um, so the V out, or sorry, the VCC uh, right here is going to be 3.3 volts, which is what this radio requires. Now, also, um, you need a capacitor, 4.7 microfarad capacitor here, uh, connected to ground and VCC or power. Um, so the little uh, white stripe is the ground. Uh, polarity does matter on these type of capacitors. And I just chose to solder it right to the radio pins. 
Um, you can though if you don't want to solder stick it down inside the DuPont cables. I've done that in the past. Just make sure if you're going to do that um, it's connecting the wire or the metal inside of the DuPont cable connection. Um, for me though I've started just soldering because it's, it's more secure. Um, I've had capacitors pop out or come loose in the past. Okay, so there's the wiring. Make sure you're, uh, if you're using a 5 volt Arduino, you need to uh, step down the voltage to 3.3 for the radio. So now we're going to connect in the Dallas temperature sensors. So some of this stuff uh, I can't do because I need to do it upstairs uh, at my fridge. Um, but just like before, we're going to have um, power and ground. And we're going to connect in an old cell phone charger into the, uh, the raw here. So it's going to be a 5 volt cell phone charger connected into here and then we'll take the power from that and put that directly to the Dallas temperature sensor and then this green one, which we used before, is connected into pin 3. Uh, so that will be the three wires for a Dallas temperature sensor. And then I'm going to connect in two more into pins 4 and 5 and those will be for my door sensors. So pin 4 will be my freezer and pin 5 will be my fridge door. Uh, and then the other side of that will be connected into ground, which I'll wire right into here. So I'm just going to take my Cat5 cable um, into ground on one end, and then the other end will be a DuPont cable that I will just solder in similar to um, the Dallas temperature sensors. So I just wanted to quickly show you how I connected everything in. I know that especially if you're new, uh, sometimes it can get confusing on uh, just descriptions. It's nice to actually visually see it. So here I have a power connection. It's just a quick disconnect. So this goes up to my cell phone charger and this will go in and power my various devices. So I have in here my black is ground. So connected into here I have the two Dallas temperature sensors and then the grounds, these uh, clear Cat5 cables or green Cat5 cables are going to one side of my door uh, contact sensors and then the, the other wire is going into the ground of my Arduino. And then my power here is red. So I have power going to my Arduino, 5 volt power. I have 5 volt power, two lines going to my Dallas temperature sensors. And then I have another one that's going to connect into the 4.7K resistor uh, for the Dallas temperature sensor one wire there. Okay, so that's my power. And then these two down here are the other side of my door contact sensors. So the other wire, these are going to pin 4 and 5 on my Arduino. So that's what all the connections look like here. I realize it's a little messy, uh, but it's just a quick uh, quick and dirty node here to get my fridge monitored. Okay, so then moving over here, I'll show you what my door scent contacts look like. So it's just the copper wire here, just taped down with some white tape to hide it a little bit. The other side of the door I just have my copper tape on the seal. And then over here, I have my Dallas temperature sensor. Also tried to hide it a little bit with some white tape here, but that's just sitting there. And then over on the other side, my fridge door looks identical to that. So that's it, pretty simple. So the last thing I'm gonna show you is the code that you're gonna to upload to your Pro Mini and a couple of things that you may wanna change. So the first thing we have here is our temp delay variable. So I have mine set to 425 seconds. Uh, so this is how frequently your temperature updates will be sent to your gateway. So if you want to increase the update sent, make this a smaller number. Or if you want less temperature updates, you can make this a larger number. So that's an optional change. You don't have to change that if you don't want to. The thing you will definitely need to change, though, are your Dallas addresses here. So these are the addresses that I got when I ran my previous program. So you're going to want to run that for your Dallas temperature sensors and then input the results here. After that, you just upload the code to your Arduino and you're ready to go. So that's it. If you have any questions or comments, please follow the link in the video description for the MySensors forum and you can post them there. Thanks for watching, everyone.